Welcome back to Red Star Raceway and some more action now from the Extreme Festival of Motorsport. All our regional categories are here and we're going into Car Care Clinic's Triple One Sports and Saloons. It's a nice big field, but not as big as what we saw at Pekisa. And they're all hunting down Marius Lotz, who, of course, leads the championship here in the Triple One Sports and Saloons. But there's a couple of guys and girls who found some serious pace over the last two days and are looking to put that into race pace now, into this heat. The usual contenders are all here, and they're all going to be fighting hard. There's going to be some great battles throughout the field. It's a rolling start, and we're on board with Battis as we head down towards Turn 1. Just ahead of them, Eminus and Kalen Miller alongside. And a good start there from Votaruis, who holds shots down into Turn 1. The same note being followed in by a big spin from Philip Mayer. The Doctor's out of shape, and he's followed through there by a flyer stop with Clive Smith. Went off as well. Oh, there was some big problems on the sideline. One of the Gregory cars, and there was Mark Gregory, went off there as well. All trying to avoid the spinning 9-4. Out front, though, it's all about uh, Votaruis getting away. And on his tail, Kalen Miller staying out of trouble in the Kia, just slotted up into second place. Third place is Eminus, and big pressure on Battis. This is Battis' swan song. He leaves for the United States of America very soon. But let's go back to the action down into turn one. This is on board with Flores as Mayer gets out of shape. And you can see he had nowhere to go. Clive Smith went wide, so did Flores, and he just manages to keep it on the grass and get back on track, but a long way down. Archie having a good run here as well, fighting hard in the mid-pack just ahead. There you can see Louis Skoltz having dual duties today. And it's going to be a tough, tough ask there for those two. They're going to be working exceptionally hard to try and stay in that mid-pack battle. But the hardest worker at this stage, it's Kalen Miller. That minus Kia is all over the back of the Nathan's Motorsport uh, Golf GTI as it heads down that back straightaway. And look at that! Power to weight ratio, under braking, looking for a chance? No. This time Voter says, no, you're going to have to work harder than that. Kalen stays behind him as they slot through into the chicane and complete the first one in anger. Some big pace out of that little Kia, though. There's definitely something... Oh, there's, I was going to say, there's a bit of an issue here. I was about to say, it looked like there might be a bit of a problem there on Voter's car. And he goes down into turn one with a very, very depowered machine. It's definitely not on the same kind of pace it was earlier on. He goes defensive to keep out Eminus. Looks like might be a little bit of an intermittent issue there. Maybe a turbo issue going into turn two. But there's the BM up the inside and up into second. And looks like Voter's dropped down into third now. So if he can keep it going, he might still be able to circulate and still score some points. So it's now Kaylin Miller. This is the first time she's ever led Triple Ones overall, that's for sure. And a very good possibility that if she stays there, we're going to see history in the making here with the first lady to ever win this category. Let's wait and see if that's going to be the case. Louis Scott still under a bit of pressure there. And look at this. Brown is all over the back of him. And Brown looking for a way through for a possibility of first place in his class. Speaking of first places in class, look at this. Marius Lotz leading class E. Class X being led out there by Portgita. And class D, Chris Smith in the Porsche. So it's kind of all three fighting for their own respective category wins, but uh, overalls on the day too, those are what counts, and that's what gives Marius Lotz the chance of being the overall leader in this championship. But Sheldon is definitely looking for a way past on him and pressurizing him nicely there. He's in a similar car to what Michael Frey drives, and those two sharing a, a stable there, of course. Boyfriend and girlfriend there to the leader at, at the stage, Kalen Miller, and doing a super job out front. All oh, problems here! That's a hot Porsche, that's Seba Porsche. In fact, that's a very hot Porsche. That's going to light up the grass, if I'm not mistaken. You don't want to go off onto this very, very dry grass at this time of the year. And the Seba Porsche pulls to the sideline. That is definitely not part of the plan. Oh, Clive Smith getting out of there, and he's going to have to out quickly because that car is on fire. The grass is about to catch on fire as well. And we're going to have to call in the Red Star and Kyle Army Marshals to come and help out. Eminus is having one of the best drives we've seen out of him, and so is Kalen Miller. Those two on a absolute flyer at the moment and definitely fighting for honors here for the eventual potential win here there's no doubt about it that both of them wanted just as hungry as, as the one behind or in front but it's going to be an epic finish to this race it looks like the bmw might just have what it takes here through the twisty bits and it closes in on that little kia when it gets into the dog bone here through turn one two three four and five very similar type corners where it's basically double backing on yourself all the time there's not really an edge but the edge that Kalen's got is down that back straight away. Brown has moved up ahead of Skoltz, so a change up there. Looks like Louis Skoltz going to have to uh, just find another way through there on the Figo. But Brown has had a great day. So has Archie. Archie's had a phenomenal day in the Hyundai. And he's just up ahead of them, of course, and looking to try and stay ahead of those two. But they are coming very, very quickly. And they're all trying to close down, of course, on Valdo Swiggers, who's just up the road there in that Mark 1 golf of his. Great job here from our Kyle Army and Red Star Marshals to get that fire out on the grass as well as on the car so we don't have to worry too much. We're coming to the flag though, and this is last lap time now. Marius Lott's about to be shown the way down that back straightaway by that very fast Kia. There's the differential there. Once again, showing you just how fast that little car is. And of course, with the little lady that's behind the wheel, power to weight ratio on that car is also very, very good. 
Yeah, we're going to see history in the making. This is the first time that a lady has crossed the line. Overall winner in the Triple One Sports and Saloons. A phenomenal effort there from Kaylin Miller and definitely well deserved. She takes the checkered flag with Eminus just behind her and comes through there for second place, beating out Batis van Jasfeld. Great drive from Kayla Miller to win out Class A. It was Valdo Swiggers who won out Class B. Loki Fave taking Class C honors. Chris Smith to Class D. Lotz takes Class E. And Porchita taking Class X. Let's catch up with the young lady who absolutely lit this track a lot. I'm super excited. Like, <laughs> the adrenaline still pumping inside me is unbelievable. It was amazing. It was very close with myself and Philip. So I'm hoping to keep it in front for the next race. And yeah. Enjoy the dust that we get into. Class E winner and overall championship leader, Marius Lotz. Pretty awesome. It was a great race. We had a bit of a mess up on the start, but luckily we got through the mayhem and then tried to open up a little bit of a gap and uh, did pretty well. Uh, thank you very much.